Pigs and Pioneers today I'm going to show you my super fast trifle and um, majority of the work goes on in the refrigerator so let's get started what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, use four cups let me make sure I get the camera in the bowl here I'm going to use four cups of whole milk ice cold and I always put the milk in here first so that the um, we're going to use 1.4 ounces of just vanilla pudding, plain vanilla pudding. This is not sugar free or the cooked kind, it's the instant kind, just in case you want to know. So I'm going to use two boxes of that with four cups of uh, whole milk. Let's get our whisk going here. get all the powder dissolved into the cold milk. Four cups of milk and then I'm going to add my next box. 3.4 ounces of just vanilla pudding. I'm going to just slowly add it so it gets incorporated. And the directions say two minutes. So we'll be back when the pudding is thick and ready to go. Okay, the pudding is thickened up. Let's go on to our next step. Okay, what I have here, I'm going to move this over off to the side. And what I have here is uh, just your regular Hostess vanilla cakes with the creamy filling. You can use whatever brand that you want um, I you know what these are I've just chosen not to show the brand of the of the food but they come many brands make this type of vanilla cake with cream filling so I have uh, seven of them in here and I've, it's just enough to fit my pan if you had a bigger pan you could probably fit a whole box and um, what I'm gonna do is I'm, I have uh, sliced up some bananas and um, this is really not a banana pudding, it's more like a trifle because it's got the sponge cake, the cream. <clears throat> There's no cookies in this recipe, so this is really not a banana pudding. If you don't like banana pudding because of the cookies, which I know a lot of people don't really enjoy the cookies, I love banana pudding. Uh, it's one of my very favorite desserts and I love the cookies. It doesn't matter if they're soggy, it doesn't matter if they're crispy, I like banana pudding. And I always complain that there's never enough cookies. So when I make mine, I make a lot more. But anyway, this is not a banana pudding recipe. So I put some lemon juice in the bananas so that they don't turn black on me. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drain those off uh, a little bit at a time in the bowl. And I'm just gonna drop them in the pudding. And this is two organic bananas I've just sliced up. You could cube them. You could do them any way that you choose to do them. This is just my way. I wanted to make sure this was super fast for anybody who just had instant company. It's summertime. We're all looking for cold desserts. Um, this is just super easy to throw together. And it's not very expensive at all. So going to get all the bananas in here and then I'm going to take my spatula I'm just folding just folding it in here mixing it all up incorporating the bananas And then we're going to take our pudding mixture and we're going to pour it on top of the uh, sponge cake. My my pan is an eight by eight, I believe. It's a glass, just a it comes with a lid, and it's easy to throw in the refrigerator if you make a dessert. Okay. 
And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spread this over like this. Make sure I cover all this vanilla cakes. I've even seen the vanilla cakes in the organic store. So believe it or not, you can. I even have the pans. I could probably make my own if I wanted to take a lot of time. All right. Now the next layer is going to be our uh, whipped cream. So I use official real deal whipped cream. Let me get my stainless steel uh, bowl washed up and cleaned up and then we'll come back. I'm going to put this in the refrigerator while we're making the whipped cream so nothing gets room temperature. And we'll be back in just right, a minute. Let's get our whipped cream going. This is just regular old whipping cream. I'm not going to use the whole carton because I'm just trying to do a little bit for the topping. But I'm just going to pour this probably a cup and a half in here. Just enough to cover the top. I'm going to put this on high. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe half of the cart. And this is uh, 16 ounces, so probably 8 ounces. up on high and we'll be back when it's all fluffy and ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and add about, I forgot about this, about three tablespoons, heaping tablespoons of powdered sugar to my whipping cream. Just sweeten it, give, give it a little, you know, sweetness. And I'm turning it down low because if you whip whipping cream too long, it'll turn into butter on high. So I'm just trying to do it really low. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Let's see if I got some. Pretty sure that's whipping cream. I'm gonna taste it. It needs to be a little bit more sweet. So I'm gonna see, maybe I didn't gauge it enough. I'm gonna go ahead and add some more powdered sugar and spin it around a little more. Maybe three more. Six if you're counting. Tasting it from the bowl, I'm gonna taste it from the whisk here. Perfect. Okay, let's move on to the next step. Okay, so I've taken uh, two more cakes and I've chopped them up. And as you can see, there's cream filled in the middle. And all I'm gonna do is take this uh, whipped cream and I'm gonna put it on the top. You could also do this with pound cake. If you don't have vanilla cakes, the reason I use the vanilla cakes is because they have the cream filled in the middle. So um, you don't have to necessarily do that. And as you can see, just half of uh, eight ounces of whip, heavy whipping cream just really make enough for just a top. Top of a pie or you know, top of a dessert or anything like that. Of course, we don't like a lot of frosting and, you know, a lot of uh, whipped cream on everything, but I do like some. 
trying to get all these covered. Sometimes you gotta go down in the valleys. Get it out there. Cover it. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator overnight. And my husband will be here first thing in the morning and after lunch. He'll be having some vanilla trifle. I'm also probably going to you know what? Let's put some graham cracker crumbs on top of this. I think that'd be yummy. It'd add a really good texture to the top. So, one more thing and I'll be right back. Okay, I have some organic honey graham crackers. They have a little cinnamon and sugar on them. And I just put them in a Ziploc bag. They're whole like that. And I'm just going to crunch them up with my hands. You could take a rolling pin and rolling pin them if you want to. I can do that. I have an empty jar here. Or you could just really sprinkle nutmeg on top of it too, or cinnamon. If you just prefer a spice. Now this is a treat. It's not an everyday dessert. Certainly not something healthy. <laughs> but this is a treat. We've got some graham cracker crumbs, and I'm just going to clean hands. I'm just going to sprinkle on top. Not too much. Probably you could have got away with one cracker. All right. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I hope it's something you'll try. Super fast vanilla trifle. Everybody have a blessed day and I'll see you on the next video.